it's been a minute since I sat at this desk, but I thought that I would come over and give this seat a swirl. Today, we're working with that extraordinary mind, the dropout. That's right, the dropout. And do you want to know who some of those dropouts were? Richard Branson, founder of Virgin Group. Steve Jobs, co-founder of Apple Incorporated. Mark Zuckerberg, co-founder of Facebook. Larry Ellison, co-founder of Oracle. Bill Gates, co-founder of Microsoft. David Corp, uh, founder of Tumblr. John D. Rockefeller, co-founder of Standard Oil. Michael Dell, founder of Dell Technologies. Ralph Lauren, fashion designer and the founder of Ralph Lauren Corporation. Henry Ford, founder of Ford Motor Company. Kirk Kirkline, business magnate and investor. We have Envar Kamprad, founder of IKEA. Andre Carnegie, industrialist and philanthropist. Coco Chanel, fashion designer and founder of Chanel. Barry Gordy, founder of Motown Records, Sean Parker, co-founder of Napster and former president of Facebook, Francis Pinoy, founder of Caring, formerly Pinot, uh, Print Temps, and Redo, Amancia Ortega, founder of Inditech and Zari, Carl Lindner, Jr., founder of American Financial Group, and Arash Fadosi co-founder of Dropbox. Now, these are all dropouts. And you know what these dropouts did? They dropped in on their greatest passion and they put all the BS aside. They went hard and they all became successful. Now, these are the extraordinary minds. They have Except, exceptional unique abilities, and they probably have multifaceted learning styles. See, we get it wrong every time. On our side, on the black side, we would say that this is a disability. I've never heard anybody say that Mark Zuckerberg had a disability or Bill Gates might have a disability. No, these are great minds, great people, but when you turn to our side, it turns to something different. So maybe now we have to scratch that. Now I would like to go to something special that happened last night on a live stream. I heard that word, disability. My son decided to go up on a chat. And he'd done an exceptional job of holding his own. Now, he has one of those minds also. Sure, they would call him disabled, but he's not. I guess it's by zip code, but maybe we need to change the zip code and the area code. That's what we need to do. Change the wording. Because like I said, the people that I just named, they were all dropouts. And they dropped in. And they all became successful. So, back to the live stream. That live stream was who, Kenny? What was the name of the live stream? It was by the Passport Bros. I know. Razor Ray. Oh, it was by Razor Ray. Shout out to Razor Ray. Because I think that after the live stream, everybody, and I'll give a shout out to the chat, everything that was turned upside down, became respectful. And that let me know that what opens a door is compassion, empathy, support, love, respect. And that's what we got the opportunity to see last night. I hear that word smoke. We're going for the smoke. But why come we can't come for the praise? Why come we can't come for the support? Why can't we have to always say something negative before we give somebody a very positive criticism? Criticism is good either way. But like I said, shout out to Razor Ray and his crew because they made 
this mother proud. I'm proud of everybody on that stream because they turned it around and they showed my son and they showed me a lot of love. So when you go up on these live streams, I'm not coming for the smoke. No, that's not what I'm coming for. I'm coming for all those minds that I saw in the chat and up on, up on the stage to say that in order for us to be successful and the life experiences that we live, we have to not only live those life experiences, but we have to learn those life experiences. Not only that we have to learn the life experiences, you shall become your master teacher. You shall become your sensei. Somebody in the chat said, well, what are your credentials? You got to go out here on these platforms and you got to prove, prove that you got these credentials. No, you don't. Once you learn to validate yourself, and you can walk out with confidence. You are the master teacher. You will show the success of the dropouts. That's right. All these people that I name are dropouts. And I never, ever heard them referred to as being disabled. Imagine that. Imagine. And just think what that chat and the people on that panel can do if they leave the smoke behind. All the magnificent ideas that they could come up with. Because they were coming up with solutions while my son was in the chat. And I was just so proud. Do you actually think I would come to somebody's uh, chat? or on their platform and disrespect them. This is not about disrespect. This is strictly about showing love. And that's what we came there for, to show love and respect and support. And before I end this briefly, I want to say to each and every one of you, once we start making those changes, once we start going in these platforms, respecting each other, once we start dropping in, you would be surprised what our minds could come up with. You'd be surprised. And once again, I made this video for Razor Ray and his crew because you know what? Once again, you did a wonderful job. It seemed like it was going to go left or south. But now you see it doesn't have to be that way. And once we start coming to support each other, once we start dropping in, once we stop the name calling, once we start giving each other that respect, you are the Mark Zuckerberg. You will be the Bill Gates. You will be the Ralph Lawrence. But we're letting too much negativity block our power, our positive thoughts. So, I'm not going to hold you up too much longer. I enjoyed coming here today, making this brief video, because this is not the video that I was going to make. But I think that our community need a video like this because we need to stop giving out the smoke. We need to stop the beefing. We need to start using our minds because what I saw last night in that chat, I saw some brilliant people. I saw young men with true heart. That's what I saw. I didn't leave there offended. I didn't leave their butt hurt. No. I left there with my son, and we 
we went through this video. We saw it all the way to the end. Even to the end where the young man was saying, you know, we ought to give a barbecue. Because he'll know that we looked at it. We ought to do something like where we can shake off and give beers. I was so proud of him. And that's something that our crew want to see. We want to be there for love and support. Because you know what that does? Every time when you give that love and support, when you drop in on the drop out, you'll become successful. When you get that love, you'll change the behavior. And you are now, or you will become the master teacher and the sensei. So once again, thank you, Razor Ray, for letting me come on your panel. Thank you for being ever so polite and gentle with my son because he held his own. And if you had walked in that chat, you would have had to try to figure out who has this unique ability because it would have never looked like it was Rondell. You would have been sitting there thinking, oh my God, this is horrible. But like I said, it all changed. And you guys made me proud. And that's what we're coming for. We are coming for the love and the support, not the smoke. We are coming for the intelligence. We are coming for empathy, compassion, and support. For all the dropouts, start dropping in. Make a change. And after leaving that chat last night, I saw these young men giving out solutions and making changes. So on that note, Razor Ray, the crew, and everybody, once again, thank you.